Do you have some exterior painting to do, but you didn't get to it when the weather was nice, and now that it's getting a little bit colder, you're curious if you can still get the job done? Well, you're in luck because I'm gonna give you my five tips for painting in the cold weather that will help you get your work done in a relatively painless fashion, because indeed, winter, winter is coming. coming. Yo, it's Kraken folks, Jeremy Vassar here with a little video on painting in the cold, which is one of my least favorite things to do, but it happens, uh, particularly happens to us around the holidays because sometimes our clients don't give us a huge amount of heads up and we are booked out relatively far in advance. Um, we uh, operate in the Northeast outside of Philly, so it does get fairly chilly willies uh, towards the end of fall and into winter. Because of all of those fun experiences, we've come up with a few methods and uh, tips and tricks to uh, help us out and make the job uh, suck the least amount possible. Tip number one is selecting a paint that's gonna work well in colder temperatures. Uh, my preferred one is Benjamin Moore's uh, More Glow Soft Gloss, uh, which uh, you can't really see the label because we got paint on it because we've been using it. This is the Soft Gloss Sheen, which is akin to a satin. It's what we use on exterior door shutters and trim. And then for the larger surfaces like siding and things like that, we will use the More Guard Low Luster, which is like a matte finish. These paints I really prefer of any of the exterior products that I've used. Sharon Williams Latitude is also pretty decent in colder weather, but the soft gloss is good down to 35 degrees and that is the temperature of the surface that you are painting, but the ambient temperature is really what you're gonna be paying attention to anyways. Most exterior paints that are halfway decent are good down to about 40 degrees. This gives you a little bit more room. All right, now that we've got our paint selected, we're gonna move on to tip number two, which is to determine your working window. As you move towards winter, the days are gonna be getting shorter in terms of daylight. Seasons change, time passes by. It's super cold in the morning, and then as the sun rises, the surface temperature of what we're painting uh, will increase, and then as the sun sets in the evening, it's gonna get really cold. So one of the issues that you're gonna run into as far as working windows goes is you're painting and it's in like the 40s for most of the day, but then it's gonna drop to like 20 at night. You wanna make sure that the paint has at least an hour or two in the 40s to, to try and get some dry time in and to cure out a little bit uh, before it gets super cold. Another thing to really take a look at is uh, how the moisture is uh, behaving in the mornings. Generally in the fall and moving into winter and particularly also in early spring, you're gonna get some dew and some moisture on those surfaces in the morning. And then as the day warms, that'll burn off. Related to uh, early morning dew and moisture is tip number three, which is to dry the surfaces. Uh, we have done this a lot, uh, which is if we have some shutters or some doors to paint, a lot of times we'll get there uh, earlier than we would normally to start painting and actually towel off those surfaces. Uh, this is particularly easy on things that are smaller, like front doors and shutters, things that have a more limited area, not like an entire side of a house. Uh, but you can use towels, we've even used paper towels. And if you can do that about like 30 minutes before you're intending to start laying down product, uh, uh, that'll give it enough time for any like residual residue to uh, uh, wear off and dry out. We've even done it particularly on front doors where we towel them off and then use a big fan to blow on it to dry it off the rest of the way so that then we can lay down our top coats. And tip number four is to pre-stage your supplies and the paint inside either the night, bef the night before or the morning of. So for us, what we do is we'll get there early and stage all our supplies inside. What you don't wanna do is have I don't know, hypothetically, if you left the paint in your truck overnight and it went down to like 20 or 30 or whatever, then you're trying to lay down a very cold product on a very cold surface. It's much better to have a warm product going on a cold surface. That's gonna give you way better results and be way less of a pain in the butt. And that's true too for your edging containers. If you've stopped, and we like putting saran wrap over top our edging containers, uh, a lot of times we'll put them back inside where it's warm, uh, particularly if it's quite cold outside. And that brings us to tip number five, which is to dress accordingly. I mentioned before that uh, painting outside in the cold is one of my least favorite activities. A big part of that is because painting is not like exercising or like running outside when it's cold. Your body doesn't generate a lot of heat. Uh, when you're painting because you're just not moving quickly enough. If you're painting a front door, the, mov the movements are fairly contained, uh, so you can't, it's, it's super hard to get warm, particularly if you're not in direct sunlight. Generally, my brother and I will do, we'll double up on socks, we'll wear shorts underneath our work pants, and then I'll do like a t-shirt, a long sleeve shirt, a hoodie, and I'm usually wearing a beanie like this, and then I'll pull my 
hood up over top of that. I don't really like wearing gloves, which is a bit of an issue, uh, particularly on my right hand because that's the hand that I hold the brush with and I like to be able to feel exactly what this is doing. Um, but I will a lot of times wear a mechanics glove like these uh, grease monkey gloves on my left hand. That's kind of how, how we do it and with the layering of things as the day warms up or you might be working in an area that's a lot warmer, you can start shedding layers like pulling off the hoodie. A lot of times I'll switch to a regular hat, but you'll kind of get a feel for that as you're experiencing whatever weather you're experiencing. And if you do enough painting in the cold, you'll probably arrive at the same conclusion that I did, which I'm gonna call a bonus tip, which is to get all your exterior painting done when it's nice and warm out. Then it'll suck way less. That's gonna do it for me. Until next time, y'all take it easy, work smart, and have a good one. Peace. Amazing.